What's up, gang? Welcome back to Pretty Girl Gang TV, where we do nothing but conduct pretty girl business. Okay. It's your girl, Janina, here, and I am back with another video for you guys. And in today's video, we're going to be testing out some new makeup, girl. We're going to be testing out the new Morphe Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer. Okay, so if you guys want to see that, keep on watching. <laughs> flying around here okay and I cannot catch him I will get his ass later but right now we're gonna plan some makeup so just in case you see him flying around girl that's him but don't worry I'm gonna get him later on okay so first things first I'm gonna prime my face with the NYX Cosmetics Marshmallow Primer you guys I need to buy some more of this because I just love it so much I'm using like a little trial size I had a full size and I totally used it all because you guys know I've been like doing a lot of stuff with my skincare and my face and this is just like this primer is just so moisturizing and it's so thick and I just love it so much and today I feel like my face is kind of peeling a little bit because I did one of those ordinary peels so we need a little bit more extra moisturizer where it's like dry and flaky reading the claims on the back it says stun in the sun this lightweight tinted moisturizer provides sun protection and a hydrating glow for natural looking non-greasy finish so it's supposed to hydrate for up to 24 hours transfer resistance mm, non-comedogenic and great for all skin types okay it also has spf 30 so that was really interesting for me the last tinted moisturizer i tried that had spf i believe was the lip bar and I will post that in the cards above so you guys can see that video if you haven't seen it yet but they had SPF 11 I think that was the only tinted moisturizer that really had SPF so good for Morphe they have a 30 SPF so in the glow stunner tinted moisturizer I ended up getting the shade number 10 now I ended up finding this shade based on their chart now the problem with the chart was you had to know your foundation shade in their morphe filter rich soft focus foundation so if you don't have this foundation it's going to be kind of hard to like gauge your shade i feel like because they didn't really have any more references like they didn't have like their old original morphe fluidity they didn't have uh the skin hint hint skin tint they just had this foundation as a reference as of the last time i looked at it like maybe the chart updated but when i was on the chart they only had this as a reference for your shade range so the problem with using this foundation for me though is that you guys know that I use two of them okay because I couldn't find my I feel like exact match so currently I've been using uh, rich 25 and then I also picked up rich 26 I will actually link that video in the cards above also and in the description box so if you guys want to check that out and find out um, how I ended up picking my shade in this one um, I ended up keeping rich 26 even though it was a little dark I ended up keeping it just because in the summertime I do tan and I felt like I can mix it with this or I can just use this but I haven't really been outside like if you guys uh, watch my vlog channel you guys know that I've been outside but then I haven't been outside you know plus I've been using a lot of sunscreen lately and also I've been like peeling my face and doing a lot of things so my face is kind of like a little bit lighter than the rest of my body I feel like so that's when Filter Rich 25 comes in. So I do want to swatch all three shades though against each other um, before we start because number 10 was in between these shades on the chart. So what had happened was, girl, if you were between, I don't know the start, but Rich 25 was the end of shade 10 in the Glow Stunner Tinted Moisturizer. So that's why I ended up getting shade 10 because then shade uh, Filter Rich 26 in the Soft Focus Foundation started Glow Stunner Tinted Moisturizer shade 11. You get what I'm saying? Is that like, is that, doesn't that sound crazy, girl? I hope I explained that right to you guys. So that's the reason why I ended up picking 10 because I felt like it was the end of um the shade range and i feel like if i would have went 
11 it would have been just a little bit a tad bit too dark for me and looking at rich tin in the bottle now i don't know if this is like just a picture or if that's like the actual foundation but it looks really light honey and it does not well does it look like this y'all i don't know i feel like this looks a little bit more lighter than this so i did want to swatch them just to make sure and just to kind of compare okay so let's do that so this is filter rich 26 and i'll swatch that right here so that's Filter Rich 26. This is the Morphe uh, Glow Stunner Tinted Moisturizer in shade 10. And then right next to it, I'm gonna put Filter Rich um, 25 in the Soft Focus Foundation. So that's how that looks. Okay, so it's definitely lighter than this, than the actual Filter Rich 25. So yeah, I'm a little scared, okay? So I feel like their chart was a little off for me. Um, if this one doesn't work out, because it is supposed to be sheer, so hopefully it just kind of like blends in anyway, because you know, when the pigments are very sheer, it can kind of stretch across a wide range of um, shades, but it doesn't really look like it, okay? I mean, it, it, whoa, whoa, whoa. it looks like it's oxidizing a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. Let's let's get into the video and try on the tinted moisturizer, okay? And we will be the judge of the shade later. All right, you guys, so those who are interested, here is the packaging. I am such a packaging whore, I love packaging. It just looks synonymous with their new packaging, I feel like, with the filter rich focus. So that's how it looks. It has a pump there. I'm gonna put a little bit on my palette here. We'll do one full pump. And it's pretty liquidy, as you can see, it's like running down. So it's pretty liquidy. So I'm not sure what kind of coverage we're gonna get. But we'll hope for the best. Cause it looked like it oxidized a little bit when we um, tested the shade out, so we'll see. And I'm using my Morphe M439 brush. Mm, okay, so it definitely has an SPF -y smell. You know, like that SPF smell, so it definitely has that smell, but as far as like anything else, like scented, like fragrancy, no. So we're gonna definitely have to put some more on because I feel like it didn't really do anything, at least for my hyperpigmentation riddled skin, okay? But it does look very glowy, as you can see. It is called the Glow Stunner, girl. And it's supposed to be giving us like 24 hour hydration. So it does look very glowy, but I am gonna put a little bit more on. So I'm probably gonna do two pumps because I feel like one pump just isn't enough. And I think instead of swipe, I'm gonna just kind of pat in and that way it'll give me the most coverage because I need a lot of coverage, girl. Like, I like having light makeup on and I love light tinted moisturizers, but I also need a coverage, you know what I mean? So I feel like for me, the tinted moisturizer, it has to be light, but then at the same time, it has to be kind of kind of like high efficiency on the coverage, if that makes sense. Ooh, and so far it's looking good. Okay, so the color, the color I feel like is just blending in. It's not very light at all. It looks kind of light on my forehead, but not, uh, not at all. I feel like the color is not bad. So I have just a little bit left on my palette. I'm gonna use the rest of that in the areas where I have mostly like the hyperpigmentation on my cheeks and like right here, just to get a little bit more flawless coverage. Yeah, and definitely I feel like patting this one in works better. It'll give you like the best coverage patting it into the skin instead of swiping. 
I'm not sure if a beauty blender will give you the most effective coverage with this formula just because it's so liquidy and it's already so very light. So I feel like a brush will probably be much better, even though I use brushes anyway, but for my girls who use um, beauty blenders and makeup sponges, probably use a brush with this formula if you need some coverage, if you need like coverage like I do. Despite our hair looking a mess, girl, this makeup is actually looking really good. Let me just take a look here. Yeah. Now it is giving like a hydrating look. Like I said, it is very, very glowy. Okay, it's giving me like Huda Beauty uh, glowish vibes. It is very glowy. And it'll definitely give you, I feel like some 24 hour hydration. If you're a dry girl, like, yeah, this is definitely gonna be for you. I do see some of my hyperpigmentation peeking through, but not a lot. So it did ultimately give us coverage, okay? So that's the most important part, I feel like, for me with Tension Moisturizers is that it ultimately gives me some type of coverage, but my skin is still peeking through. So it actually looks really, really good, you guys. Like, ooh. Now that we applied the foundation, I am gonna do the rest of my makeup on camera so we can see if it plays well with all of my products I normally use, and then I'll come back to you guys with my final thoughts. Okay, you guys know the drill, right? Run the footage. My completed look using the Morphe Glow Stunner Hydrating Tinted Moisturizer and what are you guys thinking okay like so far I'm loving it what I will say though is the color did not stress me out like I thought it would it actually oxidized okay so let me get into my final thoughts about this tinted moisturizer okay so as I was mentioning you guys I do love the finish it is really really glowy and it does feel really really hydrating without it being super greasy um, I just did a review on the say beauty tinted moisturizer and that was just greasy it was glowy but it was just straight greasy this is not greasy at all it's very hydrating it looks really really nice i did dump down the shine a little bit with my sephora micro smooth powder but as you guys can see it's still really glowy and healthy and it just looks so good now the coverage is pretty light but it is buildable okay so you can build the coverage up probably to like medium full Okay, but it did cover most of my hyperpigmentation. I can still see a little bit like peeking through, especially like um, the darker ones kind of here. 
but it's not that bad okay so it did give us coverage one thing i will say about this tinted moisturizer though is that if you are the type of girl who likes to put on tinted moisturizer in just the areas where you need coverage like say you want to just even out your skin tone i know some girls don't put foundation on their forehead because their forehead is pretty clear it's just the rest of their face you're not going to be able to do that with this tinted moisturizer because it does oxidize i feel like the color oxidized significantly okay so i feel like if you were to just put it in certain parts of your face you're going to be able to tell like what parts you have foundation on and what parts you don't i hope that makes sense you know what i mean like this is the type of tinted moisturizer where you're gonna have to put it all over your face it's not gonna be kind of like a spot treatment thing because it oxidizes and you'll be able to tell you know that you have foundation on your face so that's the only thing i feel like with this foundation is that it did oxidize significantly i i, I really do like i don't know if you guys can tell but even when I left it kind of on my face with the swatch, it did it did significantly like oxidize. So that's the only thing about it. I like it. Um, I wasn't expecting this type of coverage. Like I said, the coverage is light, but at the same time, it does cover. And like you guys saw, it was really, really watery. So I wasn't expecting it to give me any coverage at all. But as always, girl, Morphe slays. Okay, I have mostly all the morphe brushes mostly all of morphe's products you guys seen them i have tons of morphe videos on this channel here girl like morphe brings it when it comes to the complexion and their formulas and things like i just love all of morphe's foundations period like so in my opinion morphe did that girl and i do feel like this is totally worth it i mean i think it was only 18 dollars. if you liked this video girl go ahead and give it a like don't forget to subscribe to the channel girl and when you do subscribe Make sure you hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time the game posts a video, okay? And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.